Alpha High School, you guys. This is where my son does his signing to go to Carson Newman. Congratulations, so much proud of it. Hey. There he is, y'all. All right, we'll get started. Uh, first, let me welcome everybody to the signing today. And we've been fortunate and uh, fortunate this year to have four, five, six guys sign. Uh, I was trying to figure it up today. Just in my mathematical mind, it's probably close to a million dollars in scholarships that we've got coming our way. So uh, a lot of money involved for these young men. Uh, that's part of our purpose here. It's not our main goal is to try to get everybody scholarships, but it's a byproduct when we can. Because it takes a lot to get in these chairs right here. It takes a commitment as far as football, academic. It takes a parental support uh, factor and there's just a lot of factors involved. It, it, it makes me happy that they get a chance to go further their education. Of course, they're gonna play ball. And I was fortunate enough to have one sit in this seat. And uh, his scholarship, I think, was around $100,000 that, that we saved that we didn't have to take out of our pocket. And uh, so it's a great thing when we can have them uh, sign. You know, Gray signed with Georgia Tech back, Cox signed with Cincinnati, Cam signed with Charlotte, TT is going to sign with MTSU in just a minute, and Tank signed with Carson Newman. And we could have one or two more, we just don't know right now, but it's a great honor for them, it's a great honor for our school, great honor for the families, and I'm sure most of you know that this is a ceremony, they've already signed their scholarships, they do that on the morning of signing day, and that was what, February the 3rd, I guess, or 4th. And they want they, they can't sign before seven o'clock, and they really want you to sign those papers and get them back to them at seven o five. They want to know that those guys are signed, delivered, and they can move on. So, very proud of these two. I've asked Coach Chris and Coach David to come up and just say a quick word about them, and then we will move on with the ceremony. They'll sign in a few minutes, and we'll take one of them off the stage, and y'all can get pictures, uh, whatever you need. Tank will be up here first, and to get any kind of pictures you want. Uh, when he gets through, TT will come up and get family pictures, girlfriends, whatever, whatever you got, just uh, go to it. Go to it. Um, coach, one of y'all, who wants to go first? David, Chris, it don't matter. These are sort of position coaches, the guys that coached them, and they wanted, I wanted them to just to say a couple words about them. Coach Conn, I, I coached really both of these guys, uh, TT with the long snappers and, and Tank with uh, corners, but these guys have always had a special place with me just because you know, I had to teach them in eighth grade. Uh, they were part of my uh, track team at the time. We won a state championship together, and then we got to go to the high school and do it four more times. So uh, it'll always be something very special to me. Um, as far as Tank goes, uh, he's, yeah, I didn't get to coach him a lot in his early, early years. He was a linebacker for us. Uh, late in the season in 2019, um, we had some situation. We didn't move some kids around in the semifinals which is a very stressful time. Uh, so we had to ask Tank, uh, would you please move back to corner and play for us in these last two games? He didn't bat an eye. He's always been a yes sir kind of kid. And uh, uh, he, he played phenomenal uh, in the two biggest games of his career up to that, to that point. And this last year, uh, we got to Dobbins Bennett. You know, I had, I had Isaiah Cox on one side and Tank on the other. It was, it was going great. And then of course we know that Isaiah, uh, his shoulder got injured and so at that point, it became a conversation of, man, I need you to be my rock, you know, these, these next five games uh, so we can win a state championship. Once again, didn't bat an eye, uh, went in and battled every day, uh, great attitude, and uh, in the two biggest games of the year, I couldn't have played any better. And he just had this intense focus about him. When, when, when it's on him, uh, he's going to do what he's supposed to and do a great job with it. So uh, I just want to say that I'm very proud of him. I'm excited to see both these guys uh, the next four years. And, and uh, they, they, they do a great ambassador for Alcoa High School. And, and uh, very, very proud to have him uh, and coach him the last little bit. So, uh, coach, uh, both these guys as uh, skill position players coming up through, kind of similar to what Coach Collis said. I didn't coach uh, TT as much when he was younger. You know, we thought he was a good defensive player. He was always in my ear telling me how he could uh, catch, and we were, we were missing uh, both of them on offense. <laughs> so finally, about maybe halfway through his junior year, we started trying to play a little more tight end and uh, wise up and listen to him a little bit really 
you know, through the senior year, he had a huge uh, component to our offense that we never had before. We never really had a tight end that could get down the field the way that TT did and make so many explosive plays through the passing game. Really, a, uh, an aspect of our offense we're going to try to you know keep and uh, you know he's kind of the uh, trailblazer for us in that that area. You know, he was second for the, for the team this year in receiving yards, second in uh, touchdowns, um, caught one in the state championship game. You know. Mike, Mike could have had two, but we'll, 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 we'll um, but what I was most proud of with TD is just he's a great teammate. You know, he was uh, the, the whole season, like I say, early in the year, maybe the ball wasn't coming to him quite as much as, as, uh, as we planned. He was a great blocker. You know, he supported. He's always uh, picking the guys up if the guy makes a mistake. He was always uh, there to, uh, you know, support him, pick him up, tell him to keep his head up, and go back out there. Too. So he was a great leader for us throughout the uh, season. Really, his whole career, great in the off-season program. Really bought into that, bought into the weight room, led us in that area. With Tank, like I said, he was kind of a uh, Swiss Army knife for us offensively. We played him lots of places. We played him in the backfield sometimes. Played him at uh, all, about every receiver spot that we had. Uh, was explosive. Was great. Great on the uh, jet sweeps. Great in the backfield and uh, made plays when we had an opportunity. Like I said, both these guys, I thought the, the best things. You know, we had a lot of a lot of uh, talent on this last, last team. Uh, at skill positions, there's only there's only one football. So, so those guys, they, they were they're great teammates. They, they they were supportive of of the other guys when when they was their time to shine and when, when they got their opportunities. I felt like both these guys uh, made the most of it. Like I said, they're, they're as to echo what Coach Collins said, they're great ambassadors for Alcoa High School. We're we're super proud of them, and we know they're going to uh, represent the school and the town well in their future. <laughs> This time they'll sign and you guys get where you need to get pictures of them signing. And then we'll do some family stuff with them, whatever. Certified everywhere, ain't got a printed resume. Take out LA. 